this video will show you how to check power and ground supply to the OBD connector. This comes standard to all OBD2 connector. The pin 16 would be the positive and the pin 4 one, two, three, four will be the negative connector or the negative pin or ground. As you could also see, there's a number one six, which means that's the pin 16, and that would be the positive. And as you could see right here, it should show number one, which would indicate that would be the pin one. Two, three, four. That would t that would be the negative. As you can see here, I hook up the black lead to the pin 16, which I said is the positive, and the red lead to the ground, which is supposed to be the ground, and that's why you would get a negative result. Negative. 12 volts which is the our battery voltage now that we switch the connector now that the red probe is right where it should be and then black probe is going to the negative side and now you'll see that we have a positive 12 volts that tells me that this pin right here is positive and the other black pin is the negative so that's how you check to see if you have 12 volt supply to the OBD connector. This video is useful so you could identify if was it your OBD scan tool is having a problem or are you having a problem with the OBD connector. So at this point, we plug in our OBD connector and the scan tool powered up meaning we have 12 volts coming out of the OBD connector but we're not but if in case if in case that your OBD can OBD scan tool is not powering up you don't know if you have actually have 12 volts or is it your scan tool that's bad also it is important to understand that it doesn't matter if your key is on or off you will always have a positive supply on pin 16 and a negative supply on pin number 4 as long as your car battery are both connected.